deep in the African jungle lies this thriving rutabaga plantation. Lucy, a comely visitor from Staten Island, is being shown around by Majors Thistlewaite and Dangerfield. But while Lucy is eyeing the plantation, Pedro, the cruel overseer, is eyeing Lucy. Lucy seems to have wandered off by herself, and Major Dangerfield is looking everywhere. That isn't her, either. But Lucy would be safer if she were lost among the rutabaga than to be where she is right now. Making a neat recovery of his hat, Dangerfield orders Pedro from the premises. This will mean ten demerits and no dessert for a week as punishment. But Pedro isn't going to take this lying down. He visits his old friend, Mad Mongrel Morris, a used arrow dealer and the streakiest Zulu chief in Africa. They probably put his makeup on with a rake. Anyhow, Pedro tells of the pummeling he received and asks Mad Mongrel Morris to lead an uprising against the plantation. Mongrel acquiesces and calls his salesmen together. And in some very subtle acting, Pedro gets over the idea that he's glad. Back at the plantation, Major Thistlewaite brings an ugly bit of news. The natives are on the war path. A glimpse through the high-power binoculars shows how grave the situation really is. This is no time for a mirage, but Dangerfield enjoys it. He likes a second native from the end. Quickly grabbing their flintlocks, they're off to defend the stockade gates. his old treachery, Pedro is foiled in an attempt to throw open the gates and has administered a horrible beating at the hands of Dangerfield with an assist by Thistlewaite. Their only hope now is to have Dangerfield go for aid. Heroes have always run in his family and he's no exception. Dangerfield takes careful aim, and the native executes a full gainer with a tuck. Breaking all existing records for the African mile, Dangerfield gives the alarm, and it's the Royal Mounted Dragoon Lancers to the rescue. Meanwhile, at the stockade, things don't look so good. The rutabaga trade has fallen off something terrible, and ammunition is low. And Lucy, firing in the wrong direction, isn't helping matters either. The natives have run off, and Thistlewaite realizes rescue is at hand. Good old Dangerfield must have come through. A look through those high-powered binoculars should tell the story. There's that mirage again. Dangerfield must have run all the way back. So the plantation is saved. Lucy is won. And Rutabaga marches on. Mm -hmm.